large value. That's why the small difference here won't affect much your final result. So you can just leave it. You can see it's not exactly intercept with the zero line, but we just assume they are intercept with the zero line. Okay, it's okay fine. Because it's not too accurate on certain materials that you want to measure the width and thickness exactly. Okay, this one is very small difference, zero point zero one mm won't affect too much your result. Okay. So just leave it at zero and after that right so you can actually turn. Okay. Turn on this some gap and we start to measure. You can start to measure the V first. The best way is you follow the sequence if you recognize the material. Don't jump here and there later you get confused. That, right, so we turn one. One takes time enough. Turn over turn. Uh. If you spot it, please pay 2000. Okay, okay. Right. Now, how to read? How to read? You can see we have a main skew, we have a sub skew, right? Okay, so this is what we call the main skew. We have two sections. Okay, maybe last time you used, but the main skew have only one portion. Um, but here, this one we have two parts upper part and lower part. The upper part, right, one line is actually for 1 mm. Like the lower part, one line is actually for 0 0.5 millimeter. Okay, right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, 6 millimeter, 5 millimeter, 6 millimeter. Okay, and every time when you read a measurement, right, you have to check the main field, how many lines already appear. Okay, for example, like now this one is. Okay, you can see it's number six line, six line. You can see the six line. The six line is just appear without the zero point five. You have to check whether the zero point five line is appear or not. Okay, now <coughs> it's only the six line, right? It's only the six line. The upper part. Right, look at the main skew. The zero point five line definitely does not appear because this one just appear. Okay, so this one is six, right? The main skew. Ah. Mm -hmm. So the lower part, the 0 0.59 is not appear yet, right? Uh, if you are unsure, oh, the sixth line, right, seems to be appear or seems like just almost appear, right? You don't know whether it's appear or not, right? I teach you one technique. Or sometimes 0 0.59, you can see the 0 0.59 is exactly on at the boundary here. You don't know whether it's appear or it's not appear, right? Okay, very simple. Check the zero position, the zero line positions on the subscale, okay? If the zero is above the main skew line, meaning that it's almost rich, but haven't reached yet, because you turn like this, so meaning that if the zero is here, it's almost reaching. Okay, haven't reached yet. If the zero is below, for example, like this case, the zero is below. Consider or not? We don't know if, whether it's five point five because definitely the five is there. The five point five already there. The only thing is the six. You don't know whether you should take five point five. Here. This is the zero line. The zero is below. Below means that already over. Over means that the six is up here. So that's why we take six. If the zero is above, let's say now it's forty something. Forty something is here. The zero line is here, right? Okay. So mean that you know it's almost rich, but haven't reached yet. That's why I should take five point five, but not six. So according to this measurement, so I should write down the mean scale is. of the sub skew is intersect with the main skew line. Right. Of course after consider the plus the sub the main skew line. The zero point. Zero five. I have to remember one cycle you have fifty lines. So one line is for zero point zero one. So fifty line you have zero point five. So mean that one cycle you turn right, you will take a small gap here. Okay. So now you have five line mean that is zero point zero five because one line for zero point zero one times five to so zero point zero five. So total you get zero point six point zero five millimeter. This one is actually for the width. 
Okay. Okay, now. Then, we turn to the other side to measure the thickness. Okay. Okay, one, one sound enough. Okay, now. Again, now you can see the 6 is changed. But the 0 by 5 light is almost appear. We do know it's already appear or it's almost appear, right? Okay, you first you check first. You can see the 0 by 5 light. 6 confirmed there. We do know whether this one should be taken or not. Our concern is here, right? You see? It's 6. 6 confirmed there. But the thing is the 0 by 5 light. We are unsure. Is it? Can see? Mm -hmm. Okay, now, how to determine? Again, check where is the position of the sub skew zero line. Now you can see the zero is above, right? Above the main skew line. So, mean that it's almost rich, but haven't reached yet. Okay, that's why it's very close. Okay, so from here, then we should take six instead of taking 6.5. Unless the zero is below, uh, then we take 6.5. Can you see? So that's why we should take six, right? Six. If you make the six here, right? Ah, then we will much different zero point five because the measuring skill is in the Okay, six or five here. Six. 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 I told you already. We are not taking the zero point five. Why? Because the zero is above. Okay, the zero, the, the zero was uh, under the uh, down. That's it. Six also. Four five. Now you reach to here, I said this line is not taken because the zero is above, <coughs> right? It's above the main skew line, meaning that haven't reached yet. If already reached, then you take 6.5. This, the main skew, you can only put 1, 2, 3, or 1.5, 2.5, 3.5. Okay, now it's only take until 6. Now, how about the sub skew? The sub skew is 45 after taking into account the zero error. Should be forty five, right? Forty five. Okay. Forty five, right? Yes. Okay. So it's equal zero point four five. So six point four five is the thickness. Know how to measure? Okay. Know how to measure? Okay. Good. Okay, now, what I want you to do is, group 1, you start to do the measurement first, okay, so the the other group, I have to be patient, just wait, okay, just wait until group 1 finish measure, then group 1 will go to the impact test today and do the impact test, then, which is followed by group 2. If you are waiting, right, you can take some time to read through the lab menu first, okay, read through the lab menu before you do the test, okay, so after group 1 have finished the measurement, right, before group 2 continue to start the measurements, so everyone go to the impact test today. I need to brief how to run the test. Okay. So after my briefing, group one will continue to do the test. Group two will start to do the measurement. Okay. So after finish group one, if you have finished all calculation, again now you have to be patient. Wait until all group finish. After that, then I brief you how to prepare the report. Okay. Okay. Nah? So clear. So group one, I give you. Please finish the measurement within ten minutes. Try your best to finish faster. Okay. After that, then pass to group two. Right. The rest you can actually pass around the lab menu and you read to the lab menu. If you have anything which is unclear, please refer back to me.